Welcome back, everybody, to Alienation's fourth episode of my Vigilant Chronicles, where I'm role-playing a young Melkor Silverblood, who a new morning is greeting right now, and he's got some business to attend to today on behalf of the Order of the Vigilants. And there's our partner, Emma. Good morning, Emma. But before we do that, I think we're also going to pop down to the workyards where the smelter is and try to talk to some of the laborers and see if we can learn anything about this Wayland character that appears to be the Forsworn agent. And, um, and maybe we'll get some breakfast. But the bartender's not here. At least the bard is on duty, playing us a jaunty little morning tune to get us energized for the day. Sit down and grab a quick bite to eat. We'll have that honey nut treat and the milk we had meant to eat yesterday. It's a nutritious breakfast. I'm right behind you. Good morning, Ogman. Where's the bartender this morning? Thank you for being up early and providing some entertainment as we enjoyed our breakfast. How are things what going? What can an old skull do for you, huh? Uh, is, is Scald is some kind of a bard, right? That's about the truth of it. Write tales about the sights I've seen, the battles I've fought. Earned quite a name for myself when I was younger. The Bard's College still teaches some of my work to their students. Well, that's pretty impressive. I don't suppose you'd be willing to impart some of your bardic uh, knowledge on me, would you? Well, you've come to the right place. Yeah, maybe you could train me in some speech skills. Oh, thank you very much. Good fighting to you. Boy, I really feel like I learned a lot from that guy, Emma. All right, well, let's go out hit the streets. Uh, see, hopefully they've cleaned up the streets a little bit and they haven't left those bodies laying in the street any longer. They're starting to smell a little bit rank. Um, We'll see what we can learn about the murderer and and why all this is happening here in my hometown. You. Good morning. I've seen you snooping around, asking questions. I wouldn't say snooping. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. Uh, all right, I'm not trying to cause trouble, officer. Sorry. You're finding it. That's bad enough. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. Still Very here. well. Sorry, sir. What am I supposed to do? Never leave the house? Jeez, did you hear that? You're closing this stall, and that's fine. Oh. You want to give up now, out of fear? Is that what we're going to teach our daughter? Mama, why What's are going you on over here? Fighting? We're not fighting, we're just... Why don't I get you something to eat? Mama and Papa will talk. Songs. Are just old memories that help the mead go down. Jeez, Emma, did you hear that? That family is gonna close up their little merchant stall. I guess the high high crime rate here is really scaring businesses away. Jobs are leaving the city. We really better figure out what's going on with this forsworn conspiracy and see if we can do something to stop it. So let's head down here. This is the the smelter, the workyards. Looks like nobody's uh, at work yet, though. I guess it's still early in the morning. Uh, I think the workers' camp is over in here, so maybe we can find them as they're uh, just starting to starting to get up and get ready for their work day, and maybe we can talk to them in there. Let's take that opportunity to head into into here, into the Warrens. I guess this place is called. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, Fred? Hmm, it smells kind of funky in here. Uh, yeah, no trouble, sir. Just, um, just looking for some information, actually. Warrens ain't for you. Trust me. Well, my name is Melkor, Melkor Silverblood. Perhaps you've heard of my family. The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? Well, perhaps, um, but really, I'm here looking for a particular... A guy by the name of Wayland. Do you know who that is? Oh, yes. I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Mm. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. 
Oh, uh, do you happen to have his key? I just need to take a quick look in his room, if that's all right. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. Hmm. It's like I might have to grease this guy's palms a little bit, am I, to get him to, to help us out. Here, let's give him a little bit of gold. Uh, how about now, Mr. Garvey? Do I belong here now? Welcome to Florence. Ah, thank you very much. Uh-huh. All right, let's see if we can find Wayland's room. It must be one of these doors. There's Garvey's room. Not much of a room at all there. What's this uh, lady doing sitting on the ground over here? Good morning, you are you all right? Be here. No one wants to. Well, be that as it may, we have some duties to attend to on behalf of the Order of the Vigilance of Stendar. Don't know anyone here who doesn't have rattles or ataxia. Oh. Oh, so you have an ailment? I might be able to help you with that. Um, Alright, now I just have this healing spell so far in Restoration Magic. But I'm just going to go ahead and kind of roleplay and pretend that this allows me to cast healing on other people as well as myself. Just so I can sort of pretend that I'm... Giving, putting the, the blessings of yes. Stendar upon you, miss. There you are. Maybe that'll help heal some of your ailments a little bit. Alright. Here we go, Emma, over here. This is it. It's Wayland's room. Now, we don't know what to expect in there, so we better be, better be ready for anything. Let's head in and see what there is to see. Hello? Appears to be empty. Some food, some mining equipment, there's a key, oh here's a chest, what's in the chest? A note, let's see what the note says. Waylon, you've been chosen to strike fear in the hearts of the Nords. Go to the market tomorrow, you will know what to do. Signed N, who's N? N. N. Can you think can of I anybody think? named N? N. We're going to have to figure out who this N clue points to. I'm glad it's not T. Couldn't be Thonar then. I hope my dad's not mixed up in all this. I think uh, Eltris had mentioned his name in connection with all this stuff, so I hope that's not the case. All right, well, let's get out of here. This place has given me the willies. We found all we're gonna find in Wayland's quarters. Let's head back outside. And we'll uh oh good morning, You've sir. You've been digging around where you don't belong. Oh it's time you learned a lesson. Come on, more of this really? Listen, who sent you? Someone who doesn't like you asking questions. Yeah, obviously, but I mean Come is on. it the guard Let's or see Whoa, what hey, you're made oh. of? Hey, am I gonna have to kick your ass, pal? Jeez, watch out. Give up while you Emma, look out. Ow. Ow. You're getting a beating now. I'll tear you to pieces. Look out, Emma. Just let me handle this. Ouch. Ouch. Serious problem. Oh. All right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to uh, level up. I got enough experience to go up a level, um, but also when I do that, it automatically replenishes my health, my hit points. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As a way to help me survive this brawl. Ouch. There we go. Alright, come on. Have at ya. Ow. Piece of pit bait. 
I'm the mangy piece of pit bait. You better start talking or I send you to the gods. I was sent by Nepos the Nose. The old man hands out the orders. Nepos. He told me to make sure you didn't get in the way. That's all I know, I swear. Uh huh. Nepos must be in. Alright, things are coming together, Emma, but apparently they're on to us, so we better keep a low profile. I'm gonna put my hood up so people can't see my face quite so easily. There we go. Ah, uh, we still kind of stick out like a couple of sore thumbs in our Vigilant of Stendar outfits. Alright, let's just watch my back, I'll watch yours. Hello. Hey to you. These guys probably won't mess with us because they just saw me lay the beat down on that thug. So maybe we've gained a little bit of respect among the laborers here. But uh, before we dig any further into this Nepos the Nose business, um, we got to take care of our official duties for the vigil and go track down that cave that woman was talking about and hunt down those corpse eaters and any draugr that are infesting their cave. So let's get ready to head out of town on a on a day trip, an excursion to that cave. What's on your mind? Um and maybe before we do that, we'll stop in the goods general goods store, see if there's any equipment that might come in handy for zombie hunting. outside? It's just the market travel. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Good morning, yes. I was hoping to trade a little bit. What have you got for sale here? No, I'm not Arnleaf. Yes, I know it's called Arnleaf and Sons. <laughs> I did notice that, yes. Uh, so who is Arnleaf? I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleaf. My husband, Gunnar, Died about five years ago. Forsworn attack. I miss that stubborn oaf. So I see. Uh, well, what have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Hmm. Backpack? That hooded scarf is kind of sharp looking. I'll take that. Long mace. You know, maybe I'll take this maul. Um, I think that would be an appropriate cleric weapon. Some salt, I might be able to cook with that. Oh, you got some spell books. That's cool. And linen cloaks, huh? Um, sure, I'll take a cloak. Take a couple, maybe I can give one to Emma. All right, thank you, Lisbeth. Come back whenever you need something. All right, will do. Have a good day. I'm right. Midnane. I was just comparing the ledgers from last season. Okay, so now Emma and I are going to head out of town. Oh. Still morning, so we should be able to make good time. Uh, it's good traveling weather. Not too sunny. But also not raining. So we'll consult the map and we'll see if we can track down that cave and get rid of those corpse eaters once and for all. Better put on our traveling cloaks. What can I do for you? All right, so here's the entrance to Markarth. Let's look at the map. Um, We've, I think this was the cave down here, right? Yes, Reach Cliff Cave. So basically we've got to head west and a little bit south. 
Looks like we could maybe just follow this riverbed. That would give us get us most of the way there. I don't know how the road situation is out here in this kind of rocky mountainous area. There's not always roads. So, all right, but that's our plan. And there you are, Emma. Listen, I'm going to give you this iron maul What's we just bought. Mind? See if you um if you like that any better than your mace. All right, so give me your mace back and you can take this maul. Okay. Uh oh, starting to rain. That sucks. Let's see what can I wear for the rain. Burlap, that'd be good rain gear. Put that on. All right, and off we go. Good morning, Mr. Carriage Driver. Okay, there's a little bit of a road here we can follow for now. That's the river we could follow, so I guess we'll start out by doing that. Good morning, Road Warden. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, so White Run is back that way. Hearth Waston is this way. So is Solitude. Solitude is the capital town of the whole uh, region of Skyrim. Um, put on a quest marker for this Reach Cliff Cave here. Alright, so it is up this way. Looks like we can continue to follow the road for a little while. That makes things easier. Hello, goat. Lots of goats in this mountainous region here. Alright, looks like uh, the path forks. I'm gonna not take the road, but take this sort of more wildernessy path. It looks like it goes more directly towards my destination. Got a tower up there. Is that where we're headed? Maybe. Oh, look at that down there. Emma, that looks like a forsworn encampment. Let's take a closer look. Shh. We do not want to get into a encounter with these barbarians. Can you see any of them down there? Don't see anybody moving. like just a few tents. They got a bonfire going over there. But maybe they're not coming out much because it's raining. Oh, nope. I see somebody moving around. Alright, let's just keep going and hope they don't notice us. Your eyes peeled, don't let them get any closer to us. And let's get a move on. Getting really wet from the rain. I'm soaking wet. Um, across this Looking river somehow. Just gotta wait across. Well, we're soaking wet anyway, so what does it matter? Oh, ooh, that was deeper than I thought it was. Now I'm really soaking wet. All right, now let's get a move on. Are we close yet? Yeah, we're almost there.
Ooh, what's this? Is this it? Oh, look, who's that? That looks like that crazy woman from the Hall of the Dead. Emma, are you with me? Emma! Might need your help here. Well, alright, let's get ready. I use this mace. Got my shield. Well, if she doesn't see me yet, she's obviously a heretic of some sort. She was trying to recruit me into her corpse eating cult. So I'm going to say it's okay for me to just go ahead and try to take her out. So maybe I'm going to experiment with this longbow I picked up the other day, which I haven't really had a chance to use yet. Not much of an archer. But if I can sneak up close enough, I can at least try to get a pot shot off at her, and maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, if not, we'll do it the old-fashioned way with the mace and the shield. Okay. I do want Emma to show up and help me, though. I don't know if she got lost in the river or what. Alright, so you pull back the arrow on the string like this. And I guess you point the pointy end of the arrow at your target. And then you just let it go, is what I heard. So let's release now. Thunk! Oh, got her. Direct hit. Oh, she just made her mad. Yikes. Okay, we're going to switch to the mace. And, uh, see if Emma comes to save me. <laughs> Otherwise, I might be in trouble. Oh, she's got a bow and arrow, too. She's probably better with it than I am. Right. Attack! Going to <laughs> oh, you're running away. I see how it is. Oh, you coward. Cowardly cannibal. Drink your blood. Ha ha! Victory is mine. Take that, you foul heretic cannibal. See what you've got here. Some gold. Now you've got a bow as well. Is that bow any better than mine? Looks like it might be. I'm gonna take your bow. Potions. You got some. I don't know if that's really goat meat or if it might be human meat. I don't trust your food sources, lady, so I'm not gonna take that. <clears throat> but I'll take your steel arrows. All right. Good. First part of the mission accomplished. But she did say there was... She said something about Draugr infesting the caves here. I don't want them to be there either, so I'm going to have to go in and, and scour these filth out of this cave before I can really call it a successful mission for the Vigilant. All right, Emma, are you with me yet? Okay, good. You, you found your way to me. Uh, I was able to take out that cannibal cult leader uh, all by myself. But now maybe you can make yourself useful and help me out here with uh, hunting, hunting the undead in this cave. So let's see what we got. All right, nothing so far. Looks like some, some kind of ancient statuary or sculptures in here. Oh, that guy's getting out of that crypt thing. I think this is our first zombie, Emma. Get him. Look out. Oh, no, you don't. He's kind of nasty, isn't he? Crush his bones. Ah, there he is. Ow. Another one? They have bows? What? Come here, you sack of dust and bones. Alright. Nice job. That is how it's done. Whew. You're dead, right? Well, they've got bows too, but 
That thing looks really old. I bet it doesn't work very well anymore. All right, let's keep moving in. See what else we can find in here. more of them. All right. Are you ready? All right. Charge! Ow! Ah, he's got ice magic. Before he freezes us. That restless Draugr. Soul gem. Take that from him. All right, we're on a roll. Let's keep it going. Clear the undead filth out from this cave. This isn't just a cave. This is actually a burial crypt or something. There's another one. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Whew. All right. Not all coming alive. I saw a couple of regular corpses just laying there. So I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Oh, it's another archer oh, zombie. No. Ow! Oh no, you <laughs> All right. Oh, they're all kind of desiccated. They're not very, very tough or sturdy. So just kind of dusty, Ugh, rotten flesh. No. Smash him. Oh, they've got weird tricks up their sleeve like ice magic. Alright, got him. Oh, there's so many of them. Get this chest. Anything in there? And a little bit of gold. It's not really very lucrative, but that's okay. We're not here to make money. Ooh, look at this. Ancient books. Oh, God, the doors of oblivion. Don't read that. That's some kind of heretical tome that'll try to corrupt your mind. Don't look at it. Emma, let's just keep going here. That's kind of a cool helmet. I'm going to take that. All right. Normally I'm not really into tomb robbing or raiding, but uh, I can't let these undead just be crawling around in here. So here we are. We find ourselves in strange circumstances sometimes. I've got a bad feeling about this. A potion. Yeah, me too. Looks like we might be coming into some kind of central chamber, so get ready, Emma. Oh, yep. Oh, look at that. It's like some kind of Daedric altar. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Destroy the Daedra and the zombies! The Draugr! Ah, charge! And you, and you're next! Ouch! What was that? Oh, no, I just hit him by accident. Draugr Overlord! Get off her! sword. That might be worth something to the right seller. We'll take that. Off of this creepy zombie lord. What can I do for you? Alright. Was that it? Any more? Any 
treasure. Kind of enchanted armor. Potions, amulets. We'll take that. Oh. Disgusting. I don't even want to touch this vile altar to this demon lord. Looks like they probably do their human sacrifices here. Alright, let's get out of here. We're going to report back to Brother Verilus, tell him about this place. Uh, and hopefully the Temple of Arche can send some folks down here to seal this place up. So it never sees the light of day again. All right, let's move, Emma. I think our work is done here. We, uh oh, did we get sealed in? What's this chain? There we go. All right, I think we've done some justice to our order of the Vigilance of Stendar today. We have dealt with an undead menace and a cult of abominable Daedra worshiping cannibals all in a day's work. I think Keeper Carset would be proud. So let's give ourselves a pat on the back and head back to the safety of the city of Markarth. Not that it's very safe there with all the crime and the terrorists and the apparently uh, corrupt guards or something's going on with the city guards there. But that'll be our next our next move is to figure out what's going on in Markarth. Now we're just glad to get out of here with our skins intact. If we don't get lost. Kind of feeling a little bit lost. Is this where I came in? Yeah, that looks promising. There's the cave entrance. All right, we made it out, Emma. Let's get out of here and head back. Hey, look, Uncle Thongbor should be happy about that too. Inside. All right, let's head back to town. You remember which way we came? I think we have to go this way. It's still raining out, unfortunately. We're going to have to sneak past the Forsworn camp again. Maybe the rain will help us with that, because with any luck, there won't be as many scouts out as there might normally be. There's their camp. I don't see any guards or scouts or sentries or anything, so we'll just give them a wide berth and uh, feel like we should be okay. Right back to this river. Cross back over the other way. Try not to get lost again, Emma. It's, it's a little deep and uh, kind of a strong current, so just don't mess around. Ugh. All right, made it. Oh shit! There's the force warn. Isn't there any other way to go back this way? Blub blub blub. Well, this is not good. I'm gonna have to go closer to the force warn camp than I did before. I can see that guy walking around. What's going on over there? Is he fighting somebody? I'd like to intervene if I could save an innocent person, but it looks like the fight's over, so I'm not gonna risk my hide messing with the Forsworn right now. I'm just gonna sneak up this hill, crawl away if I can. Oh, what? You're definitely fighting. Something. That's not Emma, is it? You're fighting Emma? Emma, I'm coming to save you. Hang on. Get off of her. You savages. You heathens. Ow. Get off of me.
Whew, what were you doing, Emma? Why did you go into their camp? Are you crazy? They could have killed us both. I don't know how we managed to beat them. I mean, they're fierce warriors. Look at this guy. He's got some weird stuff. Look at that. That's his warhammer? It's a stick with a spiky skull on it? I'll take that gem, though. Alright, now this leg of goat, they didn't even cook it. They don't cook their food. Ugh, heathen savages. I'm right behind you. They probably worship Daedra, too. I guess we might as well check out their camp now that we killed them all. Oh, kind of a dryad head in there. I've got a chest. Potions, all right. Some other stuff. Oh, they've got a coin purse. I didn't know they even knew what money was. Still here. Excuse me. Do you think there's any more in their tribe or whatever roaming around the wilderness? I just wonder if we're safe uh, sitting here in their campsite. Oh, they've got a book? I didn't know they could read. The Death Blow of Ebernanit with Explanations by the Sage Geocrates Varnus. Actually, that looks kind of interesting. Something about uh, defending and shields. I'm going to take that book. Because, um, I mean, we could camp out here and get out of the rain and use their little fur tents here instead of hiking all the way back to town in this rain. So why don't, we, why don't we do that? We'll just take shifts. You can take the first watch. What's on your mind? And um, we'll just camp out here for the night. So we can get out of the rain, and we'll head back to Markarth in the morning. How's that sound? All right, let's do it. You take first watch. I'm just gonna lay down and kind of relax, and sleep in this hay pile for a while. All right, good night, Emma, and good night, viewers. That's gonna wrap up my fourth episode. Uh, join us next time when Melkor is gonna try to get back to Markarth and dig into this Forsworn, Forsworn conspiracy a little bit more. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to rest for the rest of the afternoon, sleep all night here, and then early in the morning, hopefully the rain will have stopped and we'll head back to town. So thanks for tuning in again. This is Alienation signing off. We'll see you next time.